Hello, Crossman family. Hope you're doing well. Love you guys. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7, it says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. You may know it as, Cast all your cares on me or on Him because He cares for you. Uh, one of the things I love to do this time of year is go fishing. Every year I'm determined to go fishing, but every year I find out it's difficult to find the time to fish, but I do love to fish. Um, I remember as a kid, I just started to fish on my own. Nobody ever taught me how to fish. What's funny is my first couple times fishing, there may have been a, even a year of fishing, I didn't even know what a hook was. I literally wasn't using a hook. I was using a swivel, which is what the hook goes on. So I didn't catch many fish for a while. And then someone walked by once and said, what are you doing? What are you catching? I said, nothing. He introduced me to a hook. A hook's good when you fish. But one thing about fishing is you have to know, first of all, uh, you have to have bait, whether it's live bait or putting on some artificial bait. The second thing that you need to know about fishing is know where the fish are, and hopefully they'll bite what you throw in, and they're hungry for what you have. And then the third thing, third thing to, to do with fishing is to have patience. And the same is true with God. We need to, first of all, know that God cares about us, and therefore he says, cast your cares upon him. Why? Because he's the only one that can help you, because he's still the answer for, whether, for no matter what you're going through, whatever you're facing. So a couple thoughts come to mind. Number one, when it comes to casting your cares on him, number one, be honest with God. He already knows what you're going through. He already knows how you're feeling and what you're facing. So tell him where you're at. Secondly, humble yourself. The Bible says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourself before the Lord, and he'll lift you up in due time. So humble yourself and ask for help. Thirdly, uh, understand that he's ready and willing to help you. Uh, we can cast our cares on him because he does care for us. A lot of times we say nobody cares, and we do care for each other, but nobody cares for you like God does. He made you, designed you. He knows how to help you. And then fourthly, um, wait. Just like with fishing, you got to wait. The same is true with God. you got to wait on the Lord. Those that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Unfortunately, not all the help, not all the answers come right away. It's not like a microwave. You know, we live in a society where we just want to drive through and get what we want or use a microwave. we got to wait upon the Lord as well. So be honest with Him. Humble yourself before Him. He's ready and willing to help you and then wait on Him. So Lord... We give you our cares today. We trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen.